Are you ready for your advent calendar? Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. Today is December 2nd, and it is 6.40 in the morning. Oh, my glasses match my sheets, only in reverse. I never realized that, but look. Look at that little baby. She sleeps like a little, a little human underneath the blankets. Hey, Belle. Are you ready to get up? Huh? Are you ready? Mark's already left for work. Honey girl. I can feel her tail just wagging underneath the blankets. I know, Maybelle. We have to get out of the warm bed and we have to start our day. But we got eight advent calendars to open, Maybelle, with treats. Do you want treats? I know. It's so exciting. So we're going to get out of bed. Well, one of us probably will. Going to get out of bed. Well, she's going to have to get out of bed because I'm a, I'm a bake the better. A lot of people don't. I bake my beds. I have to get into a, a, a made bed at night. But anyway, let's go ahead and get up and get started on the vlog and our day. Today's day is going to consist of me shipping. I sold over about 50 pieces of glass yesterday during my whatnot sale. So if you came to the whatnot sale, Thank you so much. It was a fun sale. <gasps> I just love selling on, on whatnot. It's so much fun. But I have a lot of class to ship today. So we're going to get that done today. I also have to go to the post office in between time too to ship the things that I sold on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, it's shipping and shipping and shipping today. Pretty much that's what's going to consist of. So I will um, vlog a little bit of the shipping today since I am shipping a lot of glass. You might be interested in how I do that. And let's get started. We got to do our advent calendars first, though. Oh, we don't want to get out of bed, though. Who's a good girl? But we got to, Maybell. Advent calendars await us. I get up to go brush my teeth. And Maybelle's like, nope, not ready to get up yet. I got to make the bed, though, Maybelle. We got to make the bed, baby. It's time. Oh, I hear Fluffy. Fluffer. I bet he's in Jaden's room. Well, we're going to free him. Fluffy. You heard Fluffy, but we can't find Fluffy, so he's hiding somewhere. Maybelle's like, Where, where's he at? Where is he at? I don't know. He'll come out eventually. Well, he'll come out when he gets his advent calendar for sure. He is? Hi, Fluffer. He was underneath the bed. Oh, no. Oh, see. Now he's going into Jaden's room. Just so, so you know, I love an electric blanket. I sleep with it year round. It's like my blankie. Okay. Mark hates it. So what I have to do is I have to fold it in half. So it does not touch his side of the bed. We only have a queen size bed. We don't have a big enough space in this bedroom to have a king size bed. But So I have to fold it in half so it doesn't touch his side of the bed. Warm and cozy on this side. Antarctica on that side. Now, I, there have been times where he's like, ooh, it's cold outside. And I'm like, yeah, bet you wish you had this electric blanket on your side of the bed. But you do not. Right, so the bed is made now I have had people ask me about this comfort because I showed in another video is a duvet cover um, and I got it from Amazon I'll try to remember to link it in the description uh, but it's very nice it washes up well um, they have it this is a queen size bed. I think they had it in a king size bed it comes with the pillow shams I have king size pillows <laughs> in these so they're kind of shoved in but um, they do come with the pillow shams. The only thing I don't like about it is that the comforter, the trees are going up and down. And on the pillow shams, they're sideways. I'm not quite sure about that. But I did get the sheets from Marshalls. And uh, my mom actually made these pillows a couple years ago. The little vintage fabric cat. And then she uh, cross-stitched this little thing here and added it to the pillow with the... Little note on the back. 
made with love from mom 2019 so put those on the bed and the bed is made maybelle she's ready you ready for advent calendars i keep talking about it okay advent calendar time i don't know if you can see that probably not but i've got a grinch hanging from my house but he's hanging from one hand it scares the crap out of me every morning so I'll try to show you what it looks like. You can see his little, his little Grinch eyes. He's just hanging from one little hand. So I think we're gonna have to take him down. It's a little too windy for me. Oh, it's so not focusing. A little too windy for Mr. Grinch. And he's a little scary. So I remembered to, ugh, I remembered to bring home my tripod. So that's good. So behind me, I will turn around and show you. First advent calendar we have is a Christmas story. And I got these from Aldi. Someone was asking me where I got these. I got the this one and the Pokemon one, which is my son's, from all oh, and the cat one from Aldi's. I don't know that they have them anymore. I got them, well, I think pretty much right after they advertised that they were gonna sell them. So alright, so we yesterday we opened up Ralphie. So let's okay, no, so number two is right next to number one. So let's see. Okay, is it Randy? Oh no. This is the only bad thing about doing this one handed. Get out of there, Randy. All right. I can't put my arms down. Here's Randy. It looks like he's got tires over his head, but I think that's just supposed to be his hat. So we're going to add him to the scene. And then they had the bumpus the bumpus hounds and so you can pop these up. So the bumpus hounds are as part of the scene as well. So we've got Randy and um Ralph, Ralphie. Almost forgot your name, Ralphie. There we go. Set in the scene. Christmas December 2nd so far. Okay, so now we're gonna do the cheese and the Sephora. I actually, I have a question too. I have kind of an idea. Um, now, I get a lot of people telling me that I should be doing, like I should read stories and stuff, but you can't really do that because they're copyrighted. But the night before Christmas is no longer copyrighted. So I do have a couple of these. I have this one and I have another one. I'm trying to decide between the two that I want to do that I think I might do a little reading of the night before Christmas. So, um, I'm not sure when that will be out. Maybe Christmas Eve. I don't know, but, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do something. So what I might do, I guess I could, no, I don't, I, there, it's the same story, but both books are so cool that I can't decide which book to do. So we've got, this one's one of my favorites because it's got this Santa that's like, I'm coming down your chimney guys. And that doll's like, yeah, he is. So I like this one because it's a little bit of a grumpy Santa. So I don't know, but I probably will be doing that for this season. Okay, so this is the Aldi cheese calendar. I did eat the sharp white cheddar. I think that's what it was yesterday for lunch, and it was yummy. It was a hard cheese, but it was very good. So now we have to look for number two. Okay, number two is right in here. Okay, we'll take that out. And this one is red pesto gouda. I thought I said red potato gouda. Red pesto gouda. I will save this one for Mark because I don't like I don't like spicy cheese that well. But we'll save this one for Mark so he can take it. I don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of that kind of cheese, which is shocking because I normally like all kinds of cheese. Just not a fan of things in my cheese, like texture wise. So we'll put that here. I was so scared yesterday that I was going to forget because I put that cheese yesterday in my pocket and I was worried that I would forget and then I'd wash it when I got home. All right, the next one is Sephora. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I need to take that big thing out. I don't know if I can do it. I'll do it later. It's in the way. So we need to find number two. Yesterday we got the beauty blender. All right, number two is down here. 
What do we got? Sephora All Day Hydration. Super. Oh, it's just a, it's a, um, it's a hydration. Like a primer. Yay. I love these. I do put a primer on every day before I put on my uh, foundation. So yay. Ooh, this, would, this is great too to put in a travel bag too. Put that in there so you have, you don't have to take a big bottle with it. So that was great, Sephora. Oh, before we get to the Mr. Fluffer Pants and Maybell's advent, let's listen to our message from the North Pole. Hello, everybody. We're live on 1225. 23 days to go, and Santa's got his reindeer working out at the North Pole gym. They're shaping up just great for their Christmas Eve Round the World Marathon. Keep your eyes on the sky this month for those top secret practice runs. Ooh, we got to keep our eyes on the skies for the practice runs of the reindeer, Santa's reindeer. All right, so now we will get a hold of Maybell and Mr. Fluffle Pants. I got the, the cat one from Aldi and the dog one I got from bestbullysticks.com. And we're not going to discuss what bully sticks are. So we did that yesterday. All right, so let me see. She hasn't learned the sound of that yet, but I'm going to go find her, and we're going to give them their advent calendars. Oh, look at her. She's ready to go. Are you ready for your advent calendar? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we got to find... We got to find number... Two. Oh, it's right next to that. It's a little uh, schnauzer. Oh, Maybell, you get a bully stick. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I might have to put the camera down. We're going to show Maybell's tricks. Okay, sit, sit, shake. Good girl. High five. Good girl. Hopefully we got that on camera. I don't know, but she can do high five and she can shake. And see, she just took off. With things, some things, she's like, bye. And she leaves and she goes in the other room. All right, we got to find, you know, I'm going to open up fluffer pants and then we'll give it to him because he honestly doesn't care. And this one you have to kind of break open. Let's open up number two. These are not the easiest ones to open. Pardon my shaky camera. I'm like Don Knotts and the shakiest gun in the West. Oh, he got some more chicken flakes. Now, he really liked those. So, I'm going to take these out and we'll give those to Mr. Fluffer Pants. Hey, okay, here they are. We got to find Mr. Fluffer Pants. Fluff! Kitty, 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 kitty. Let's see if he runs. Kitty, 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 Treats! He's already had, he's already ate this morning. Let's see. Buffer. There he is. He's like the can, the can. All right, look, Fluff. Oh, now. Unfortunately, Fluff has to eat his food up here. Look, look, look. There you go. I feel kind of bad for showing him the can. I finally got him not to get a can in the morning. He only gets a can in the afternoon. Is that good? Good boy. He has to eat his food up here because of Maybell. Good boy. Merry Christmas, Fluffy. Like I said, I feel a little bit bad about playing with the, the can, but he got chicken flakes, so that's good. All right, so I got the car warming up. We are going to get going. We got a lot of shipping to do. And again, I'm going to try my best to get this video. It may not go up at 5. It may go up at 10 o'clock at night. But I'm going to try my best to get it up the day of. So it's going to require me to edit it. But I have a lot of shipping to do today. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do what I can. But just know I don't necessarily have a scheduled time. I would like to get them up by five every day, but it might be a little bit later because I have to, you know, string it all together and get it edited. So I do want to say though, real quick though, before we get to the shop is these glasses came from Chelsea Optical 
And I have a code that you can get 20% off of your frames using the code. The code is in the description. The link to Chelsea Optical is in the description. It's Misty20. Um, and we will be doing a giveaway where I'm going to be giving away a pair of glasses from Chelsea Optical. So thank you, Chelsea Optical, for providing me with these glasses and providing me with a code that I can save you guys 20% on a pair of glasses. They're lovely. They are nice quality. They're all free shipping. They're really nice quality glasses. So check out Chelsea Optical if you are in need of some new fun glasses. I'm at the shop now. Did not go to Starbucks, but I'm drinking a Mountain Dew right there. And I might make some coffee here in a minute, but I wanted to show you my task of the day today. And that is shipping 71 boxes of glass. I sold 71 items. So all of this glass is going to get shipped today. So everything here. And I, in charge, I do this all by myself. I don't have people that do this for me. I, I do it. I sell, I buy it. I sell it. I ship it all on my own. All of this has got sold and all of that down there. So that is all getting shipped. These did not sell. I don't think I have to, oh, this did. I have to go in and make sure. But again, I think I showed this before, but this is my little whatnot area. That is the blue Santa that I'm giving away next Wednesday during a, a whatnot sale. And it's going to be a lot of smalls and I've got some of the things in here like a lot of these little look at her little ch little church mice little spun head critters little Christmas bunch of little Christmas shiny bright deer so these are all types of the things that are going to be available during my, oh my god look at me da, 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 da. he's kind of creepy um and then um, I, I, I have some Hallmark ornaments and some mercury glass beads and some, well, I got some other littles over here that I'll be getting ready for Wednesday sale. Um, some putts houses, just a bunch of littles. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in too. I've got a bunch of these. These are 1983 ET necklaces I think would be great for stocking stuffers. So I'm having a sale on Wednesday at three o'clock as well as Saturday at two o'clock, Saturday the 10th. And I am going to be pulling some more glass to sell during that sale. I've got some Viking, uh, maybe some of that glass up there, that big Westmoreland vase right here, a big piece of Fenton, that Fenton carnival glass. I also have these beautiful, look at, these are Lucite candles, obviously, and these beautiful um, crystal candlesticks. I did pay, I paid $46 for all of it, which is a great price, but I'm going to be selling those maybe next Saturday. I don't know yet, but those are pretty amazing. It's just going to be a combination. It's not going to be all Christmas things. It's going to be, I probably will bring some salt and pepper shakers. Let me turn the slide on over here. Bloop. and I don't know maybe that big tall cat so I'm trying to pull some things that you can get for Christmas items so there are particular things that you might be looking for to gift to somebody for Christmas let me know let me know in the comments uh, because I'm going to start pulling things um, this weekend to get ready for and next week to get ready for that sale and everything will ship out the next day and you will get them by Christmas. That's kind of the whole point of that sale is to for last minute Christmas shopping. Which is hard to believe that we're already almost there. Yikes. Okay, so let's... I gotta get started on the shipping. I've, I got one box done and all of that to go. Okay, before I open up the... Or no, before I pack up... For, or, let me start this again. Before I pack up the whatnot sales, I have a couple boxes of friend mail that I'm going to open. I have three boxes. And I thought, let's just go ahead and open it during the vlog. Why not? Okay, so this first one came from Cheryl from Ohio. 
And she says that she went to an estate sale and when I saw this vase, I thought of you. With it only being a few $3, it was a no-brainer to get it for you. Hope it helps to brighten your spirits during the gray days of January. Cheryl, yeah. Uh, and February, yeah. Because, you know, Cheryl, she's an Ohio girl, so she knows. It's gray, not very sunny. Um, here are also some postcards for you to do as you like. Check out the Hollywood Homes. There is one of your favorites and one I thought Mark would like. Take care, Cheryl. Cheryl from Ohio. All right. Oh, here's the postcards. Oh, I just love the striped ribbons. Oh, my gosh. Some little child, too. Look. Mrs. Landon. Thank you. Love um, something Sanders. Oh, <gasps> It's strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. But there we've got some Hollywood homes in here too. Sherman Oaks, Cal oh, Lou Costello. And then we've got Danny Thomas. And then there's a bunch of different celebrity homes postcards. Lou Costello. Ann Southern. Barbara Stanwyck. Wow. Jimmy Stewart. <gasps> Joan Crawford. No wire hangers. Ever. Ever. That's what I feel like when you go to the bins and you see all those wire hangers. You kind of go a little Jones a little bit. Ooh. Cheryl. Look at here. Boiler up. I think, is this the union? Men's Carry Hall. West Lafayette, Indiana. He will like that. Oh my gosh, look at, look at the little baby. Here I say, these vlogs aren't going to be very long. Did you all laugh when I said that? <gasps> look at these little goobers. They're wishing us a happy new year. Look at them. Happy new year. Well, those are so fun. Yay. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Then she said she's got this vase. Oh my goodness. What? This is purple. Look at how beautiful that is. That, that was $3. I'm telling you, Midwest is the best as far as finding some cool pieces of glass. That's amazing. That's beautiful, Cheryl. Oh my gosh. That was so kind. Thank you so incredibly much. It got here safe and sound and it's beautiful. I got to make sure I save. Okay. Your address is on there. Good. Gotta, gotta save your address, girl. All right. So the next thing I have to open this one. The other one, the other two things I've opened, that other box, I've got to, got to get my scissors and open it. This one's from Amy. She lives in Indiana. She's another fellow Hoosier girl. Dear Misty, here's a couple of items I found treasure hunting that you needed. Hope you have a blessed holiday season. Your Northern Indiana follower, Amy. Okay. And Amy, I will reuse all of this packing material. What do we got? Wow, Amy, you got you sent me all kinds of packing materials. Oh my gosh. I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. I have one, if this is the same one, but sometimes they have different colored glasses. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get in. He's in a little sarcophagus here. Oh yeah. See, I think the ones that I have, the glasses are a little different. Look! <laughs> it's a bank. And you put your money in his chest. And unfortunately, these are the ones that, well actually this one does have a spot for a stopper. So you wouldn't have to smash him. He's so cute. I've had, I can't remember. I've had one with, I think the one I have has pink glasses. And I've had one with red glasses. And this one has like a cream colored glasses. Oh my gosh, Amy. He's so cute. I love it. I love that little sassy face. Like, here, let's see if we can do this. His eyes are looking that way. Did we do that? Maybe this should be the thumbnail. <laughs> also, on the bottom of the box, there's a poly bag. Uh, 
I gotta go get my scissors. Hang on. <gasps> you got. Oh. Okay, you ready? Baby beans. Three baby beans. It's a Whitman, first of all. Whitman, baby beans. I promise eventually I'll stop saying that. So we've got Bitty Beans, Booful Beans, and Bedsy Beans. Bedsy. What's your name? Bedsy. Bedsy Beans. Oh, we've got the... Oh, where's she taking Bedsy Beans? She's taking Bedsy... Oh, my gosh. This, Amy, is fantastic. Look at their faces. Wee! Oh, I never knew that this was in existence. This is from, licensed by Mattel, from 1973. A couple years before I was born. Baby beans! Okay, I will limit the amount of times that I say baby beans because it might annoy some. It annoys Mark, but it might annoy other people too. But, oh my gosh. Coloring book with dolls and clothes. Thank you, Amy. Ah! Okay, I gotta make sure I got your card too. And then the last box is from Madeline and she's in South Carolina. Pull out the goodies. Pull out the goodies from Madeline. All right, so Madeline sent this. Oh my gosh, look at the sticker. He oh, this is Heavy Metal Trinket Queen. Heavy Metal Trinket Queen. I thought your name's... Ooh, you know what? She didn't even seal this poly bag. That's going to get reused. <gasps> Look, everybody. We can go to Christmas at Liberace's. I'm going to listen to this right when I'm done recording this. Christmas at Liberace's. Now, there's his mama, Frances, who is quite the gambler. She liked the slot machines. Oh, my gosh. This is great. And so Madeline sent a note and, ooh, oh, I love it. Heavy metal trinket queen. That is an awesome sticker, Madeline. Look at that. That's going to go on my laptop. Or actually, I probably put it on my new calendar that I just ordered. Misty, hope you and your family are having a wonderful Christmas season. I found this record a while back and it simply screamed your name. I know you're trying to downsize. Let's all laugh here. <laughs> I'm, I really am trying to downsize. But a record doesn't take up too much room. I wanted to send it along as a thank you for all that you do for this community. You set such a wonderful example for others. And you certainly bring a much needed light to my day. Enjoy. Madeline, the heavy metal trinket queen. Thank you, Madeline. Oh, my God. That's an honor. I, people will tell me that I've gotten messages that from of that kind of sentiment before. And it it really it brightens my day to think that I can... I can, you know, my loud self can maybe brighten somebody else's day. It annoys some people too. And I'm well aware that it annoys some people, but you know, it's good to just try to get up and put on a happy mood and, you know, taking your medication if you need to definitely helps. It does. Trust me. Trust me. I know. But, oh my gosh, well, I got to clean up this mess. But thank you guys so much. You never have to send me anything, but it's such a treat to be able to get presents in the mail. I'm not going to lie. And, um, okay, well, now we got to get to work.
wanted to, to I don't want to like film my shipping the entire time because you'll get bored to tears but I wanted to say too I don't know if you had noticed I know I sped it up a little bit but a couple shipping tips one if you get your nails done you can go on Amazon and get these little I always just mess up my thumbs the rest of my nails are fine but when I'm shipping my thumbs just my thumbnails get ruined so you get these fun little 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 things for your thumbs on Amazon and you can reuse them but I wanted to say, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't use, I don't use a ton of tape. That is one thing that I've learned over the years. You don't have to tape things to death. The taping things to death isn't necessarily going to make it any better. I use a lot of combination between packing paper, if there's a lot of weak points, um, and the bubble wrap. So I'm, you know, trying to make things as light as possible. And I'm thinking about my customer too, because we all know what it's like to get something in the mail and it's taped to death and you, it takes you 15 minutes to get it open. It's aggravating. So it's also using a lot of your material. So I usually on a general use no more than three pieces of tape. Sometimes I have to use a little bit more like those candlesticks. I had to use a little bit more, but typically a general rule of thumb for me at least is about three pieces of tape with a combination of uh, packing paper and American Bubble Boy bubble wrap, which is linked in the description. If you need some great bubble wrap, American Bubble Boy is the way to go. They deliver it to you. You can have it delivered auto shipped to your home. It's the best bubble wrap for the best price. I highly recommend it. So there's a link in the description for American Bubble Boy. Um, do, I don't use packing peanuts because they, they irritate me. I don't like to get packages with packing peanuts. They're a mess. Again, it's aggravation. And honestly, I mean, I'm just going to say, you may lose a customer because they're like, they ship with packing peanuts. I don't want to mess with it. Because then you got to get rid of those packing peanuts. Listen, look, I got a box of them up there. They've been up there for about four years. Right there. Because I won't use them. Just, you don't have to use the packing peanuts. That's all I'm saying use recycled materials down here but i recycle as much as i can so a lot of that is just stuff that i've got from other packages it's a horrible mess at the end of the day i will pick it all up and put it in back in those bins but cycle as much as possible but also keeping in mind that you don't want to completely irritate your customer you know a lot of some customers will have mobility issues where they it's hard for them to to get everything out of the box so just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you are doing your shipping all right so i'm gonna not ship or i'm not gonna film me shipping anymore uh, i just wanted to do a little bit but i want to get this done so i gotta move a little bit quicker okay so i'm ready to go to the post office I've got to grab this bag. I have a carload of things that shipped out, well, from my sale on Tuesday. And then, so I've got this bag here. i got to take back there as well. And then I have, I got all my shipping from Whatnot done. It is, what time is it? 1.41, I started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I shipped over 45 packages, 71 pieces altogether. So I'm tired. I mean, I'm not tired. I like to ship, but it, you know, I'm done shipping for the day. Um, and so I'm going to go to the post office. And then when I get back from the post office, I'm going to edit this video. And th so this video will hopefully go up tonight at five. 
Um, tonight, I'm going to stay here and work at the shop for a little bit longer to get things prepped for next week because I'm having a sale on Tuesday. I'm having a whatnot sale on Wednesday and then another whatnot sale on Saturday. So I have a lot of things to prep and I tend to like to get prepped several days before. I have it all loaded and ready to go. It helps me sleep better at night and I just like to be prepared. I just like to be prepared. So Vlogmas Day 2 has commenced and I am going to work on um, doing a display with those Santas tonight. So what I figured what I might do is if I film something later on tonight, I'm going to insert it into the next day's vlog. So that will help me be able to still get the videos up in the afternoon and still be able to, to also bring in some content from the evening of things that I might be doing. And I'll just add those into the next day's video. Does that make sense? I'm having fun doing these. I hope that you guys are having fun watching them. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love reading all of the comments. Thank you so much for being so positive and encouraging me to do these vlogs. If you're not subscribed, come on over, come on over and subscribe. I have this channel as well as my live sale channel, which is Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Live. That link is down in the description below. Also, the link for the glasses, for the links to whatnot, for the links for everything that I've mentioned are down in the description below. But again, if you have any question on anything, you can always send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I'm happy to help you however I can. All right, guys, Vlogmas number two is in the books, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.